Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to News on ITN with me Bhakti Abe Surya. To begin with, let's take a look at the stories making headlines this morning. The President says Sri Lankan women are on par with those of the developed countries. The government briefs diplomatic community on COVID-19 preventive measures in Sri Lanka. CID is yet to arrest former Finance Minister Ravi Karma Nayaka. UNP is divided in contesting the general election. In news from overseas, dozens trapped as China's quarantine hotel collapses. And now for the news in detail. First up in local news, International Women's Day falls today. Issuing a communique to mark the day, President Gotabe Rajapaksha says that his government is committed to creating a platform where Sri Lankan women can contribute to the betterment of the society as an equal player. The President further says women community act as a decisive force in the existence and progress of the social establishment. Sri Lankan women are on par with those of the developed countries. The government will provide an environment where women can make her own decisions and be free to fulfill their aspirations. Meanwhile, a ceremony to mark the day was held at the auditorium of the National Disaster Management Centre in Colombo yesterday under the title Let's Stand Together on Technology-Based Violence Against Women. Former Chief Justice Shirani Tilakabadana made the keynote address. So, when I begin talking about cyber technology and it's so important for both the men and the women in the audience today to try to understand the difficulty while it has lots of good users the information is op open and available to everybody every pedophile every pervert every wicked person who does not have any morals in it has access to this internet and so do your children, so do the young girls, those most vulnerable people. There is no state sovereignty. You don't say this is the internet for Sri Lanka. There is nothing called state sovereignty. When you come to a court, there's jurisdiction. Cyberspace is independent, anarchic, and ungovernable. The government briefs diplomatic community on COVID-19 preventive measures in Sri Lanka. Foreign Relations Minister Dinesh Gunabodhana informed the diplomatic community on the situation of the COVID-19 epidemic and the preventive measures the government contemplates taking. The Foreign Minister apprised the adequate measures to curtail the transmission of the virus have been taken by the government. He urged the media to be cautious in disseminating the correct information to the public so as not to give in to panic unnecessarily. Health Ministry officials, World Health Organization resident representative, the IOM Department of Immigration, airport authorities and officials of the Sri Lanka Army were present. Foreign Secretary Ravinata Arya Singh has said that no foreign national will be discriminated on account of unfounded fear of the virus as expressed by the President and the Prime Minister. General Secretary of the Samagijana Balavege, Ranjit Madhuma Bandara, says that there is no change in their decision to contest the election separately. He said that they have already informed the Elections Commission in this regard. Meanwhile, the United National Party has decided to contest all 22 districts at the forthcoming general election. The General Secretary of the party, Akhila Viraj Karyavasam, has informed this decision to the Elections Commission. In more local news, the CID has arrested, has started rather operations to arrest former Finance Minister Ravi Karuna Nayaka and several others who have been charged in connection with the bond scam. A group of Criminal Investigation Department officers yesterday went over to the residence of Ravi Karuna Nayaka at Prajamalvata in Bataramulla. CID officers reached Karuna Nayaka's residence two times yesterday. They had waited outside the residence for nearly 45 minutes for the former minister to show up. However, it was reported that Karuna Nayaka has not been at his residence when the CID officers arrived. Meanwhile, CID has arrested Perpetual Treasuries Limited Director Muturad Surendran, the eighth suspect of the case yesterday. Following the arrest, he was remanded until the 18th of March by the Colombo Additional Magistrate. 
The number of countries that have been affected by the COVID-19 virus has increased up to 97 at present. Even the Bethlehem city, the birthplace of Jesus Christ, was also closed for the public due to the threat of the virus. According to the World Health Organization, 102,257 persons have been affected with the virus and 3,497 have succumbed to the disease. The government has decided to direct the persons who are arriving in the island from vulnerable countries to the Batiklo Private University for quarantine purposes. On the orders given by His Excellency the President and on the guidance of, uh, from Honorable Minister of Health, uh, we are going to set up two quarantine centers, uh, one in Batiklo private university premises and the other one in Kandakadu uh, treatment and rehabilitation center. I must say that both these centers are being prepared, handled and will be maintained by Sri Lanka Army. And we will be starting operations on 9th on next Monday and we will be uh, taking in uh, the passengers coming from uh, South Korea, Iran and Italy. All of them uh, will be take, taken into these two uh, quarantine uh, centres. Finally, in local news, Australia supports COVID-19 surveillance in Sri Lanka by providing equipment. The Australian government, in partnership with UNICEF Sri Lanka, recently delivered four laptops to the Disaster Preparedness and Response Division of the Ministry of Health and Indigenous Medical Services to support Sri Lanka's ongoing monitoring of COVID-19. The equipment would be used by the DPRD officials and volunteers to input data from international passenger arrival cards to be shared with the island-wide network of health officials for disease surveillance. With that, we wrap up our today's edition of ITA News. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now and have a pleasant day.